good. Thanks. I only got one more decal to put on and I'm done. How are you doing? What do you think? <laughs> Doesn't really look like a Spitfire. That's because it's a combination Spitfire and Mustang. I don't know what to call it. Spit sting or a must fire. I've never seen mad wheels on a plane before. Or a rear spoiler and dual exhaust. Huh? Why would you need all that stuff? In case you pull up next to a guy in a cloud who wants to race, that's why. Hi, guys. Hi, honey. Dad and I finished building our plane. Oh, wow. Mark, your spitfire looks great. How about mine? I think you should spit on it and set it on fire. I think this is the best one I've made so far. I'm going to go put it with my others. It's beautiful. I'm so glad you found Hobby. She's so great. You finally found something he likes doing. No one could be happier than me. One thing I've always said about my boys, if they can't learn to love cars, please God let them love something with an engine. You know where you could take him. The uh, Yankee Air Museum, I just read they're having some kind of special exhibit. That's a great idea. I think I'm Saturday. I won't have to suffer through one of your piano lessons again. <laughs> Excuse me, did you say suffer? Well, suffer in a good way. <laughs> we all know that suffering makes us stronger. <laughs> Tim, do you have any idea how lame that was? Never sure till I'm done. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I actually thought I was listening to a radio. No, I still have 
the rest of the half hour to do, you know. I've got to play this four more times. That would be a big mistake. Really? How come? There is a danger in over practice. <laughs> There's a bigger danger in trying to pull a fat one on your mother. <laughs> now listen, guys, I'm going to play this until I get it right. All right, but don't blame us when you miss your grandchildren's weddings. <laughs> Listen to the radio. <laughs> Brad and Randy already tried that. Really? Did they try this? If you don't stop playing the piano, I'm going to kill myself. <laughs> no, they didn't. How was the airplane museum? The best. You should see what they have there, Mom. B-52 Strata Fortress and our favorite an F-102 Delta Dagger. And best of all, no piano. <laughs> <laughs> and they let us go for one of those turbo props. Oh, one of those uh, simulator things? No, oh, a little plane. You took them up in a little plane? Yeah. Those things are disasters waiting to happen. They're like tool time with wings. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're not. Dad said I could, you know, take fine lessons if you said it was okay. Oh. Did he? <laughs> he might have. <laughs> so, what do you say? I say that this is one of those things your father and I need to discuss in private. Okay, but just remember, I've never wanted to do anything more my entire life. Only you could turn a trip to the museum into a journey to death. Let me get all bent out of shape. Let's just take a look at the facts in here. No, here is a fact. There is no one that's going to convince me that an 11-year-old child should be taking fine lessons. They teach a lot of kids how to fly. A lot of them are younger than Mark. To make it safe? That's right. They have a lot of statistics. There's statistics. There's, there's facts in here that show that flying a small plane is safer than driving a car. Well, sure, the way you drive. Look, look, look. You'd, you'd be trained by highly experienced instructors logging over a thousand hours in this plane. I don't care if it's a million hours. It only takes ten seconds to crash. Honey, we in the aviation business <laughs> don't use the word crash. It, it, it sounds so negative. Well, honey, some of us think a plane going down in flames is kind of a negative thing. <laughs> These planes are perfectly safe. They're checked. Every hundred hours, they inspect the engine, the airframe. Do they inspect the brains of the parents who sign their kids' these things? <laughs> Maybe read the brochure and read the whole thing. Tim, there's no way that I'm going to let Mark do this. No way. He's finally found something he likes to do. He's got a hobby now. No, no. Fishing is a hobby. Building model planes, that's a hobby. Flying kamikaze missions up for Detroit, not a hobby. Kamikaze missions? Yeah. You know what happens when a mother babies her son like this? He turns into Al. So, can I take fine lessons? I'm sorry, honey, but your father and I discussed it, and we decided that it's really not a good idea. In other words, Mom said no, and you caved. <laughs> I didn't cave. She said she and I think it'd be better if you got a little older to take these lessons. How old? I heard a man named Methuselah. <laughs> Thank you. 